Yo, 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 we back hey. once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast for episode 44. It's oh. your boy, DJ Blaze. And that guy again. Wolverine. Yo, what's up, my G? Oh, you know, we make it better. We make it better every day. But before we get started with the hot content, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel right now. Like Right now. Comment and share. Right now. <laughs> Helps us out <laughs> tremendously on the algorithm, man. Much love. But we finna dive into this hot content, man. Yesterday, man, me and Wolf watched the versus battle between Fat Joe and so Jai Wu. You Woo. know? And um Everybody had their opinions, but they gave Ja Rule the win. I want to know y'all opinion. Wolverine, what did you think about the versus battle between Ja Rule and Joey Crack? It was really good, man. It was yeah. really good. I liked it. I mean, it was, it was a little bit more than expected, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I, like I told you in the last episode, that I think that Ja Rule have a lot of, he got a catalog. Yeah. Whether you're saying is 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 old, or is recent, he got a catalog. And you yeah, people say, did. well, it's been a lot of the girl songs, but I mean, that what made him multi-millions, right? And that's, he strategically placed his <laughs> yeah. songs in the right spot at the right time, man. That's how he put it off. I seen what he did. He, he had all his hits down the line mm -hmm. and then bringing Ashanti out, you know, mm -hmm. Little Mo, you know, everybody remembered those hits. See, a lot of people don't remember Joey Crack, Don nope, Kind of Gina. Right. You know, you got to be a true hip hop head to remember Don Kind of Gina and all the underground shit that he did. You know what I'm saying? It was more females in that crowd. So they going to go more for the Ja Rule than the street shit. So it was kind of like the matchup was kind of uneven, kind of like it was in a really, it should have been Joey Crack against another. No, zone. Joey Crack. Should have brought the line out. You now you said it yourself. Oh uh, yeah, if he would have brought Rihanna out, Lil Wayne and Chris Brown, he would have shut the show down with the songs he had with them. That would have been it. That would have been it. So it was all on him. He didn't bring the pipe, the proper he line. Brought up. Nelly out and uh, Nelly. Remy Ma. Yeah, I mean Remy was a good addition to it. I don't think Nelly was a big support for him. Yeah, it would have been better if Wayne came out for Make It Rain. Yeah. And Rihanna, um, I mean, Sunshine, I, if yeah. they would have did that. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, you he know? didn't pick the right songs. I mean, he picked some good songs, but he didn't pick the right ones to compete during that time, during that situation. Yeah, with the, with the, with the like, songs John Wu had played. You don't go bring a woman knives, you bring her flowers. <laughs> he, wanted to bring the, he wanted to bring some street shit. Ja Rule played it on the, on the era of women. Yeah. Which, which we both know. Women buy albums. Women yeah, they pay. They're going to support you. They're going to support you. Then these, these, these cats are just going to listen. They're going to listen. They're not going to buy your joint. These women are going to buy your joint. And that's why Ja Rule was able to sell more than Joey Crack. Yeah. Because, in fact, he catered to, to the more, woman. To the women. And which, I mean, you know, any good artist know that. But let me ask you this. If that wasn't Joey Crack and it was 50 Cent, do you think it would have still been the same outcome? Because 50 yeah. The Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would have been the same outcome because... Because... Um, ja Rule had more... See, Ja Rule messed up stepping down to 50 level doing that. Well, whole you know whole what thing. happened with that. Yeah, man. man so and um, Irv Gotti was like, uh, on Twitter, when there was shit going on, he was like, 50 Cent, y'all hero, but we stabbed him up. And he snitched on us. He and, did. Uh, he did. He did all this and he tried to shut our company down, you know. And they got the beef for life. Him and Ja Rule, 50 yeah. Cent and Ja Rule going to be beefing for life over that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I would rather see 50 Cent come out there that, to see how that would have went. To see who, would, who had the better songs at the moment. Because after Ja Rule got shut down, 50 started doing the same shit with the hooks. You know, following his trend, <laughs> followed the so same trend. It's like okay, you you know you calling the kettle black. Yeah, but you do the same thing. You do the, the same, same shop, thing. Best friend. Twenty one questions. 21, yeah, it's like okay, man. Y'all, you just told y'all room style. Yeah, and you just sit up there and 
talk back and control them about <laughs> singing, singing, but you gonna go and sing through eighty percent of your album. <laughs> Many men. Um, it, that, that, that was, was even singing, but I was singing. Yeah, but see, he stole his style. Remember completely after he finished them, and then he took what he had and, and used I'm, it to his advantage. But, that's how he became. But the thing about multi-millionaire. It, Mur- Murder was going through a federal indictment, so Fifty didn't bring them down. The Feds brought them down, freezing assets. Well, they said he snitched to the Feds. Yeah, he was when him snitch. and Tony Yo-Yo got locked up, and they he sent Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo back too? to prison. <laughs> when they sent Tony Yo-Yo back to prison, and um, they uh, asked Fifty Cent uh, about Murder Inc., and he was like, "Go listen to uh, about Get Supreme." Up. Because and the Supreme um, was under mer- was dealing with murdering, and that was the whole demise of it. Yeah, yeah, you know. So basically, he did shut them down. Nah, he just dry snitching to the <laughs> feds. He had the feds do his dirty work. Yeah, he yeah. Did. Had yeah. the feds do his dirty work. Oh, I, I, I ain't snitching on nobody from the hood. I snitch on them <laughs> niggas over in that's in, Rico. Man. Yeah, <laughs> type of shit. Like, man, get out of here. You uh, snitching, mm-hmm. snitching. Period. You know what I'm saying? You ain't get it fairly. You ain't handle it through the through the streets. You went on. You made a whole track. So you saying Ja Rule would be fifty in a versus battle too? I would say Ja Rule would have been be fifty too. Oh, if during wow. the same time, during that performance, Ja Rule had, if I mean fifty probably would have been able to cater to more. But uh, fifty got more female songs though than Joe. Yeah, he like, got more f- he female. He got the shit with G Unit and Smile and all that. Yeah, best but, friend and. You know, 21 questions. All He got love songs, too. Yeah. So It would have been a more competitive battle to me. But Joe didn't... I mean, I wouldn't say that either because Joe did a damn good job, too. Yeah, he it did. Was, I wouldn't say it was a landslide win. I'm not for sure that I even give Ja Rule the 100% win. But I do give him the edge of it because, in fact, when he had crowd participation... But I wouldn't sit up here and say, oh, okay, he dominantly won that. No, Joe, he definitely didn't. Because nah, Joey Crack definitely came. Man, he came, he came hard. He came with the fire, man. He was spitting out there, yeah, man. they both did Y'all good. tripping on the internet, man, saying he got blew out. He did not get nah, blown nah, out, man. Nah, he, nah. he did his thing, man. And I love this performance because they both were performing mm, both live. Real good. They didn't rhyme over their words. They brought out guests. Man. They put on a show. They This had to be the um, better one. This one is better than the Dipset one. Be because Dipset, guess, guess the parents. Dipset didn't come prepared, and they just totally got blew out. You know what I'm saying? This was, I mean, this I mean, one was more of a concert with on the a guest co- appearances. On, on a competition wise, yeah. But I mean, even on a, the guest appearances, um, that was pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? For them to bring out other artists, yeah. Because nobody else done that yet. Yeah. You know, that's the first time somebody brought those feature artists on those tracks right you know so that was always a good that was a good gesture right there and performance wise yeah they both performed very well on that so yeah i definitely think joey crack did his thing yeah and Jabu, did. they both you did. know shout, shout outs out. to everyone else there little mo ashanti cool. remy ma all of them man the nelly. Terror squad nelly yeah man, great show though great show hip-hop man. wins again no one lost hip-hop won that's all we can say. Hip <laughs> right. hop one on that one. Definitely. I definitely believe that. We got to move on to other hip hop news, man. Yesterday in Double XL magazine, it revealed Ready to Die was released 25 years ago to this day. And also 20 years to this day, Tupac died mm-hmm. so, <laughs> on the same day. So this is crazy. It's a crazy day. But yeah. Ready to Die is definitely one of my favorite albums. My number Maybe one number album. one. My number we got one Biggie album. on the wall, man. Nah, number Matt, one. Album. Number one artist, man. Respect, nah. man. What's your nah, that's the one, that was one of my favorite tracks, Respect. Yeah. 1977. I'm not expecting to date moms was late. So I had, had to, to plan, plan my escape out this world. world. In this world of fly girls, take a ray and Hennessy until, until I call Earl. Earl. Ten, Ten months, months in his gut. What the fuck? <laughs> I wish moms would hurry up so, so I could get buck wild. Juvenile ripping mics and shit. New, New York, York, New York, York, ready for the lights of this? 
Then came the worst day, May 21st, 219, that's when my mama water burst. No spouse in the house, so she rolled for self to the hospital to see if she could get a little help. My umbilical cord is wrapped around my neck. I'm seeing my death and I ain't even took my first step. I made it out of real mad joy. The doctor looked and said he's gonna be a bad boy. Hey, hey, that was one of the hardest yeah, hard verses. Shit, I ain't heard nothing that hard yet. Yeah, I don't think yet. nobody in the industry, yet. Jay-Z. No Nas, no nobody. I haven't heard big, nothing yo. like those rhymes, bro. Yeah. Man, like, like I played man. that CD so much, man. I know this shit. Don't do, don't do. do. Like I, you remember this? I kicked those for you. Kicked down. Don't, don't hold up. Even left all my motherfucking hoes for you. Nigga, think it did. Nigga, did that with the. I don't yeah, want to. Yeah, I want. I want to be explicit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you know, I don't want to get all explicit. Every everyday struggle. You man. know what I'm saying? Man, mm-hmm. all of that, man. all that, man. I go through that whole album for a baby. No Sometimes, Sometimes I hear death, death knocking at my front door. I'm living every day like a hustle, another, another job to juggle, another, another day, another, another struggle. struggle. Mm-hmm. I know how it feels to wake up fucked up. Rock is broke as hell, another rock to sell. People looking at you, use the user, selling drugs, all the loser, mad Buddha, a bruisers. But they don't know about Bunch of stress filled days. Baby, Baby on the way, mad bills to take. That's why I drink tank away. So, so we, we can, can reminisce and risk. We wasn't living so devilish. devilish. Shit. I, I remember, remember I was just like you. Talking blunts with my, my crew, crew hanging on 62s. A GED was, was a BIG. I got PAID. That's what my mom take me. She was forced to kick me out. No doubt. Then I figure out bricks were for 20 down south. Packed up my tools for the raw power move. Clock 19, the casket. The flower moves. The chumps trying to shut my flow. And but what they didn't know, know was so a bit of topsy. Went, went to see Pop me. So he caught me a brick. Asked what's the assignment. He wasn't trying to, try to hear. hear. Smoking so mad new ports. Cause I'm doing court for the assault that I caught in New York. New York. Catch it if you can like the gingerbread man. You better have your gat in hand. Cause man. <laughs> Shout outs, rest man. in peace, big man. B-I-G. We love you to death. You are my favorite, favorite. artist, man. We All time. Lyrics, I wish man. I could find. I wish some artists would come out just as hot, bro. They can't. I ain't heard nothing like that. Uh, Cause then I was like, okay, big pun, big pun. When he was faster and um, spitted his rhymes, mm-hmm. you, know, you really couldn't. I mean, but you that, that, that era. I mean, but that era of true lyrical hip uh, yeah. man. It was we just so never get raw. Back to that. It was like, just so We raw, had everybody. Man. We were spoiled as hip hop because yeah. you really had to rap. True indeed. True back indeed. Then. We were spoiled. <laughs> you had to have, like, right now, these lyrics, these cast be. Yeah, they don't. They, they mumble rap and it's man. more about the beat these days, yeah. you know. Yeah, and they some have catchy channel. Or some stuff you got to be popping a pill to really. But nothing like Biggie Smalls, man. man. Uh, man Bob you... D, Big Pun, Fat Tupac, Joe, Tupac, Nasir. All, the, all that that era, man. That nine, I was watching uh, Beats ninety uh, playlist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying by Dr. Dre Beats. It was it was in 2015. They had that Beats concert, man. All the '90s rappers, man. That thing was so fire. <laughs> I bet you it was. Fire. Man. And I love when the uh, old school 90s rappers come here, man, and perform. I love to see y'all perform. Man. Keep doing y'all thing, man. Nas Shout gonna out be to in 90s. Detroit. And on Hip-hop. A, Nas always come to Michigan. He's going to Detroit on the 25th. Mm-hmm. He's going to be with Royce to 5'9". Okay. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all go see Nas in Detroit coming soon. And I ask those letters that's... Let y'all comment below what y'all think about the Ready to Die album, man. Yeah, yeah. Where do y'all rank it? It's definitely my number one hip hop album. Of what all was time. your favorite track? Ah, man, it's so many. I say Everyday Struggle and uh, respect, respect to me. Yeah, man. You know, because how he man. came out with that. Oh, man, bro. I, that right there just. Uh, if you was a hood guy, man, you you felt that so raw Even the and your blood. Are unbelievable, man. man. Mm-hmm. He said, throw some eyes down to the, the nicest MC. MC. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, who, who yeah, think of that, man? Who think of some yeah. shit like that, man? man. Like, the ill man. metaphors, man. man. Crazy, dog. Well, especially crazy. when he was like, uh, uh, it, it was like, what'd he say? Uh, I don't want to go, uh, when he was like, was that ready to die? Or that was no, that wasn't. That was life after. Yeah. Which one? When it was like, uh, 
God had me on some real strict oh, shit. Oh, that was suicide. No, sleep, hey, yeah. no sleeping all day. Yeah. No getting my dick. When I die, hey, I want to go, go to hell because I'm a piece of shit. It and ain't hard to fucking tell. It makes don't make no sense. Going to heaven, heaven with the goody goody dressed, dressed in black. black. I like black Tim's and black hoodie. God probably oh, had me on some real strict shit. shit. No, no sleeping all day. No getting my <laughs> Hanging with the goody goodies, lounging in paradise. Fuck that shit. I want to tote guns and shoot dice. dice. All my life I've, I've been, been considered, considered as the worst. worst. Lying to my mother, even, even stealing out a purse. From crime at the crime to, to drugs to extortion. I want my wish I had a fucking abortion. abortion. She don't even love me like she did when, when I was younger. younger. Sucking on the chest just, just to stop my fucking hunger. I wonder if I die. When tears come to our eyes. Forgive me for my disrespect. Forgive me for my lies. A baby mother says uh, eight months, a little sister's two. two. Who the friend for who the blame for both of them? Nah, nigga, not you. Nah. I wish I could end this slip my wrist. In this throw bullshit, bullshit, throw the magnum to, to my head, head. threaten to pull shit, then squeeze to the, to the bed, bed, completely red. I'm glad I'm dead. I'm on a fucking Buddha head. <laughs> man, that shit was so yeah, raw, bro. Man. Nobody can fuck with me. Man, you. nobody. I'm like, Jay-Z, no, nobody. I haven't heard anything that sincerely hit my soul on them hard type of lyrics. Like, I mean, you can really see the projects through his, yeah. his lyrics, man. You can really see the projects through his, his lyrics. Man, you can he like painted a, He painted a clear picture. It was a Picasso, like, man. Like how he was rhyming. It was like how he was rhyming was like you can see the movie. Man. You know, I, I ain't never I seen would, nobody rap like that. I wish they should <laughs> make, they should make, take one of his tracks and make it a movie, man. Like that respect. Yeah. They can really make that into a movie, bro. Yeah. They That'd can really dope. make that, man. And that, and about the, hitting the New York uh, Knicks chick. That was true. <laughs> that was Xavier. That was, uh, no, that was John Stark. No, no, it wasn't John Starks. It was a. Uh, it wasn't uh, Xavier. Uh, Anthony Mason. Anthony Mason. Yeah. It was Anthony Mason girl. Because mm-hmm. I remember, because he Anthony Mason did an interview and said that was his chick. <laughs> he was like, yeah, that track with Biggie. That was my girl. He was talking about. He was proud of it. <laughs> Just like with uh, like with Twenty One Savage said, "Yeah, I see the nigga I robbed the other day. He was happy to see me." <laughs> <laughs> like what nigga? What kind of shit is that? You you promoted? You got stuck up by a rapper? But we gotta move on to other hip hop news, man. Shout out to Biggie, man. One hundred bi. All right, man. In Revolt Magazine, man. Yesterday, well, man, it revealed the game. He was sent. Ordered to pay seven million dollars to the chick that he had on his TV show, The Game of Love. You remember that? Yeah. But um, he took the chick out. For y'all don't know the backstory, he took the chick out on a date after the show was over. You know, took her to dinner, and then they said he groped her, and then um, she sued him for seven million dollars. He didn't show up to court thinking it was Twice. funny. Two court dates he missed, so the judge was like, fuck it. We go, oh, I don't care if you are on tour. You, you should have been in court. So they ordered him to pay $7 million. And then yesterday, they just seized his cash up. They took 2000 out of it to pay the chick, you know. But they say he's completely broke because um, he don't have all the royalties from his albums go to her now. Wow. You know. We and, talked about that on another segment. Yeah. Y'all check that out, man. Me and Blaze gave you the whole blueprint on that one, though. But what do you think about the game, man, in this situation now? Man, the game, you ain't handling your business, man. You out there not taking care of your business. Dog, you was in Amsterdam last time you were supposed to <laughs> yeah. go ahead and take go to court. Yeah, dog. he was. He, he said was. he missed the flight. Dog, I have no sympathy, man. Especially when seven million dollars on the line. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay. I'm not. I'm, man, I'm groping? not. Man, bro, seven million on the line, dog. I don't care, man. Where no. where I'm at, dog. I'm going to that court date. It's Hell just retarded, yeah. dog. You have no game, game. Because he thought it was funny and he thought it was a game. Right. You know. The game thing and everything in game, but when it hit him in real life, it hit him in his true pockets. Yeah. Reality he, he pockets. It ain't no $7 game. Seven million no. dollars. You could have paid the broad a hundred dollars to do whatever you wanted. You, just, you ain't getting nothing. He didn't have to pay no broad. He could have just. Yeah, he could have got one of them groupies that liked him. But he want to go for this light skinned Caribbean chick that got good hair or whatever. 
thinking she cute. But now, she, all the chicks on there were planning to use you anyway. Anyways, dude. And None of all of them wanted just that fame <laughs> and that moment of exposure. Yeah. And you was the stupid one who ended up getting this girl not only the exposure, but giving her a lawsuit and seven million dollars. You yeah. fucking fool. Yeah, that dude, was I'm like, you dude, you artist man, y'all think y'all entitled, man. Y'all better just take that entitlement out of the game, dog, right. and understand that you gotta still work hard for this shit out here. You right. can't be out here, dude. You got like what? You, your son don't show you no love on your birthday. You go through these baby mama ordeals, dog. You making yourself too too vulnerable to this shit, man. Yeah, you gotta get your money. Jay you gotta be more low key and untouchable. Man, you can't be taking these chicks out on these dumb with hood rats. You a millionaire? Thinking, you thinking doing... they gonna do something for you, man? The you same gotta... thing with Trick Daddy. Remember, that's how he got smashed up. But at the least, club. at least he didn't have to pay seven mil to yeah, him. They just dissed was... him. But this dude, he want a groper and got to pay seven million dollars. I'm, I'm saying, how, what kind of groper did he do? He Please. touched her butt, man. You know what I'm saying? And he tried to get her to go to his room, his hotel. We, uh, even a judge would have tried to have her go to his room if he was single. Man, that's just being. That's just our prime of being, man. We're gonna ask you to go to our room. If you decide to he say no, he can't touch her though. No, you can't touch her, but you can yeah, try to that's be persuasive. That's what she was waiting for. That was what she was waiting for. But that's a foolish case, y'all. You deserve everything. You deserve everything you fucking get, you damn dummy. You should have went to court. Damn, damn dummy. Yeah. <laughs> now his name, Game Without No Dollars. Game Dummy. Put all your money in WAP 100 account, man. Try right. To get Try to hide that. Put it in a, <laughs> put it in a CD, my nigga. Put got, everything in your kid's name. Yeah, man. Everything in your kid's name. You want that new Ferrari, you're going to have to go and ask your son. Y'all comment below. Let us know what y'all think about the game having to pay seven million dollars. Seven million. For groping this chick, man. All right, on to the shoutouts, man. I want to give a big shout out to all my fans. Y'all helped us reach twenty five thousand views on YouTube. Four. Hey, but I need all y'all twenty five thousand people to subscribe now. now. You know, we need them subscriptions, man. Now it's free. Now you ain't got to do nothing but click that bell. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Wolf appreciate the love. Plus bro, love. Man. Y'all watching, man. Y'all liking the show. I see the comments, man. I try to get to every last one of y'all, man. I like the feedback. I know. I'm glad y'all enjoying this. We do it for you guys, man. We're Shout resonating to this, y'all. We the real ones on this. Yeah. You ain't gotta hear nobody bum ass voice. Y'all can really see too. Original that guy again and that boy DJ plays. Make sure y'all scream Gungu's finest volume three, the movement on Tidal, Spotify, Amazon, and Apple Music. You got any shout outs, world? My city. Shout out to Gungu City. We out of here. One love. Peace.